Okay, so one thing I forgot to point out, uh, last video, if you went back to localhost PHP my admin and you click on your database, you will see that data uh, that WordPress installs all of these tables. And this is kind of the crux and the foundation of WordPress and how it works. And if you go to this page, you'll actually see an entity relationship diagram or an ERD diagram of how all the tables work with each other, which is a little more advanced than, than I want to talk about, but these are the tables. I just wanted to point that out. And after you did that install in the last video, these tables were automatically created and they get populated as you do posts and pages and uh, that's how WordPress works okay so getting back to where we left off last time is here's our site if we view the source we see that it's pointing to asset CSS style .css. and if we click on that link it takes us to file not found because it doesn't exist there but we run into a problem and the problem is that in WordPress this is our folder structure and there is no assets and there is no CSS and um, it's just straight up style so are we stuck with this structure can we change it and uh, the answer is yes we can change it so what I'm going to do here is in the operating system I'm just going to create a folder called assets and inside assets I'm going to create a folder called CSS and I'm going to copy this, drop it into the CSS file, and then I'm going to copy this and drop it, actually, oops, cut that, and drop it into the CSS. So now I have assets, CSS, style, and I have this style here. Now it's a bit redundant, and I don't think a lot of people do it this way, but I like to put all my stuff, uh, images, and anything that has to be an asset of a site inside an assets folder. So I think uh, that WordPress is flexible and it gives you the opportunity, flexibility to, to use a folder structure that you want to use. So now that we have that, what we need to do is use a special function. And the function is get underscore blog info. And this is a really useful function. And it gives you all the parameters here. Now normally this is the way you would go about showing your CSS so here is a style.css and this is the traditional way that people do it and there's the blog info get blog info and it's going to uh, inside header we're going to change it so that it points to that file directly in our theme folder and this is how we do that we would use um, style sheet URL that's all we need. So get blog info and pass it that. So we'll put that into our uh, header.php page. So we put in blog info. I think I said get blog info. That's incorrect. It's blog info. And you just plug in style sheet. Now the important thing is make sure it's single quotes because they'll run into problems with the double quotes. So you want single quotes, style sheet. And once you do that, you'll see this. So our CSS is working. And if you go in here, that function actually pulls it right to localhost, simplehost, it has all that built in into style. Now the one thing that I want to do is change that to fit the way that I want to do it so we don't use that function, we do use a different function and that's um, this one, template URL. So we'll, plus, we'll replace that and then put in our path. So we now are using template URL and it's going to point to our path so we view it in the browser it still works but the path is changed to point to our asset CSS styles now we just got to go into our CSS file and this is the one that's in our root and we're going to get rid of everything in here gone and make sure that it still works and refresh so it still works and now we're good to go last thing I want to point out is there's a special file that was created when we did our last video and this is the config file so what it does is it plugs in all that database information and when you want to port your WordPress to another computer or to a live host, this file will be uh, something you'll need to pay particular attention to. So that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, we are going to adding theme info. So we want to talk about this picture and this information here, and that's what we'll do in the next video. See ya.